Hello and greetings and welcome to my presentation on the smart interface of artificial intelligence um, at observation and modeling for a positive disaster proof planet. And I'll be, I'm, I'm so happy to be speaking at the third artificial intelligence for information accessibility, uh, which is happening on the 28th of September, 2022. My name is Mr. Webster Gumindoga. I'm a lecturer in here as a good sensing and artificial intelligence at the University of Zimbabwe Department of Construction and Civil Engineering. And um, I'll be taking you to my presentation where I'm speaking about a positive planet, which is a planet proof of hydrometeorological disasters. You know that hydrometeor disasters have been affecting Southern Africa in recent years with the devastating consequences. You remember the second Nidai in Southern Africa, which hit Malawi, most of the Zimbabwe on 14, on the, on the 15th of March 2019, killing approximately 1,200 people. A lack of relevant skills to manipulate fast animals hydromet data for effective prediction and management of hydromet disasters has been uh, a challenge. So here I'm presenting a case where I'm saying, so we've got eight observation data, so we've got hydrological models, and we use that visual intelligence, that smart interface, we can get a positive planet. It's a planet proof of hydromet uh, disasters. So let me speak about Earth observation for hydromet hazard modeling. We know that information required for disaster management is often special. It means that satellite drive, drived information overcomes limited data availability and is the advantage of being spatially distributed the global coverage, the challenge that we mostly face in trying to manage hydrometeorological hazards, the challenge that we mostly face when you're trying to have um, you know a planet, you know, which is which which is um proof of these hydrometeorological disasters, the lack of data. So we're introducing earth observation data sets to fully exploit this wide range of data, novel data analysis tools are being developed that offer new insights into the Earth as an interconnected system. And you've got multiple data sets, it can be that has to do with evapor transpiration, surface moisture, uh, land cover. So we are saying that when you use Earth observation data sets, these remote sensing data sets, which is GIS data sets, makes the steer imaginations and then inspire explorations of their norm. Special relationships are analyzed using maps in digital form with GIS. So maps are needed for a positive planet. That's my submission. So let's look at the progress in hydrological or hydraulic modeling. As you can see on the screen, hydrological models are essential tools for generating information on water-related disasters. For example, you can know about uh, flood peaks in addition uh, depth, and in addition, extends again uh, to advances in hydrological modeling is driven by the ability of spatially distributed ground and satellite data, improved understanding of hydrological process, what we have at the end. And so in recent advances in computer resources, for example, high processing computers, um, you know, big data analysis, they help us understand hydrological models. So recent advancements also in 2D and 3D hydrological models, uh, you know, this requires high quality data and expertise in processing and visualization, produce accurate results. So as you can see, this is an illustration of hydrological model from the upland, the water flows down here. This we can maybe we can be able to have a positive planet. And here I'm speaking specifically about the Earth as a positive planet. So where does you know, artificial intelligence come in? So we are saying artificial intelligence is IA and aims at building systems that can mimic human intelligence and then function intelligently and independently. So AI can use various deep learning and machine learning based algorithms to understand data in any of the special temporal forms, this ability to interpret data, learn from data, and utilize data to accomplish objectives is being used extensively in data disaster management. So AI can complement classical ethnocentric hydrology or hydraulic models. When we see this three field combined ethnocentric hydrological models and industrial intelligence, 
We are saying that smart interface is very important. For example, can okay, have traffic flow to enable public evacuation of people. For example, when we had cyclones in eastern uh, Zimbabwe and western Mozambique, we saw that the allocation of critical resources is very, very important. In land use planning, because we realized that some people they already allocated low lying areas in air that can experience landslides and floods. You know, also, we need to have what we just partial dashboards and interactive platforms as driven by artificial intelligence and community led early warning systems. So, the convergence of emerging technologies, EOM, AI, modeling for disaster management is the game changer. So, that's my submission. So, for the couple of slides where I show you outputs of um, disaster management obtained from hydrological models, from um, geographical information systems, from earth observation, but also with the data, the training of the data being done by using artificial intelligence. This is very, very uh, important. So what basically are we saying? So for example, we've got um, this map of Zimbabwe showing the red areas, a flood depth, a high flood depth. Right, or areas that are can particularly be flooded. You can also see here the areas that are flooded, areas that are flooded, and the settlement that has been displaced in the Shimanaman area. Um, using this big borders, the size actually, you know, the size of uh of, of, of a car, and also this area that are experienced landslides. So all of this has been done in a GIS environment, but the data the data has been processed you know, using artificial intelligence. The National Wetlands of Zimbabwe, so we also participated in delineation of wetlands in Zimbabwe using geospatial techniques and the product of machine learning. Um, and this is a product of machine learning because the data was trained using machine learning. And we know these areas with wetlands which, are, which can potentially be flooded. So as a wrap up, what is our conclusion? What opportunities does AI present? We say that advancing earth observation AI and information technologies are leading to significant management of hydrometric disasters. Spatial handling in the appreciation of GIS and earth observation is moved faster than artificial intelligence. So we are saying AI should benefit from the experiences for a positive disaster proof planet. What are the challenges? Lack of trainings. The population target, sometimes the wrong population target. So what exactly are we saying? We are saying, we can actually um, train more people to use artificial intelligence in geographical information systems. So data availability, skills upgrade, advocate for the uptake of AI in decision making, raise awareness on the benefits of AI for the continent, develop a strategy of access and dissemination of data transmission, and AI data and information throughout Southern Africa. And, and I mean, the continent at large, ensure communication, outreach, awareness, user engagement, with mobilize human you know, resources. When we do this lesson, gentlemen, we've got um, a, a positive, uh, a positive um, planet. I thank you.